What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. You know, it's been a hot minute since my last DK Oldies video because, I don't know, I just haven't had a reason to cover them until now. Now, full disclosure, I have never purchased an item from DK Oldies. I have never wanted to use their services or come in contact with anyone who works there. Honestly, don't know anything about them except for my experience of looking at their prices online and laughing at how ridiculously overpriced everything was. That alone was enough for me to steer clear and never go back to them again. Now, I watched some of the YouTube videos, I'm sure many of you have, talking about how garbage the stuff is that they get, how it's a garbage console or dirty game or combination of the two or a fake game or anything you could think of under the sun. I've seen some videos from DK Oldies and you know what? It is what it is. It's enough for me to steer clear from them and leave it as it is. But I saw Review Tech USA share something on Twitter that made me dive a lot deeper into what's going on there. And holy crap, this is just comedy right now. Smash JT. All right, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article going over everything regarding this DK Oldies situation in far greater detail. But for this video, we're going to talk about what Review Tech USA posted on Twitter and how absolutely ridiculous this community post is from DK Oldies. We wanted to have a heart to heart about something important. Content creators, competitors, and YouTubers using our logo and our employees' images in a negative, unethical, or underhanded way without our consent just isn't right. And here's why. It's all about treating each other with respect. Hey, hold on. I need to interrupt here. Can't we just talk about games? Can't we all just get along and talk about games, guys? Let's not worry about all the horrific things we've done, all the underhanded things we've done to the community, all the horrible things we've sent out, all the overpriced things that we've sold, the junk, the garbage. No, 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 ignore all of those problems and issues we have. Let's deflect and put it on them. We believe in honesty and... <laughs> Hold up. We believe in honesty. Okay. This is not true, and you know it's not true, because if you believed in honesty, you would fix the problems you have instead of deflecting and going attacking against other people that are calling you out for your BS. We believe in honesty and ethical behavior. I'm sure you do. And misusing logos, whose opinion here? Your opinion is being misused because people are being honest about how you are as a company. People are being honest and ethical in their own mind about how horrible you guys are. But because you don't agree with them, they're wrong. And you need to let everyone know that they're wrong because it's hurting your bottom line. And misusing logos and images to spread negativity and harm our reputation just doesn't match up with those values. Well, you know, there's a reason for that. Let me, let me call it out right now. There's a reason why there aren't massive videos on YouTube for other retail chains that are doing things like you guys because they're not being underhanded. They're not being unethical. They're not being ridiculous. And if they are, they're being covered and called out. Look at all the GameStop videos that are out there about what you trade in, what you get, and how people feel like they're screwed over. Could you imagine GameStop writing something like this in their community tab? It's embarrassing. Plus, it can harm our reputation and relationships with all of you, which is something we truly care about. Oh, oh that's nice. You guys, you guys truly care about us, the customer that you're bending over for these ridiculous prices that you're selling items to, to most people who are unknowingly buying them that don't know that there are other options available, other avenues to purchase these games, other ways to go about obtaining them. You're taking full advantage of people and then saying you're doing them a service. Let's be honest here. While we absolutely welcome constructive... I can't even say that with a straight face. If you welcome constructive criticism, this would not be a community post. This is you deflecting. This is you being afraid to face the reality. We kindly ask that you keep it fair and respectful. Look, here's the thing. 
I get it. You got your hands tied behind your back. All these YouTubers have taken their shots at you and you can't defend yourself. So this is the best thing you can come up with. I get it and I feel for you as a company, as a business trying to make it in this world. I get it. But here's the thing. Instead of deflecting and putting this on the viewers, the, the consumers, the, the people buying crap from you, instead of putting it on them, maybe, I don't know, reflect a little bit, get a mirror, wonder how you can improve your image out there publicly so that the YouTubers that make videos on you, the people that are covering the situation, the people that are slamming you for awful business practices, getting garbage in the mail, being honest about it. By the way, you're calling people liars by doing this. Being honest about it when they open something up and it's not clean and they're upset about that and showing it to their viewers. You say it's their fault for, for doing that. This road goes both ways here. You can't have your cake and eat it too. If you're gonna be a publicly facing company, if you're gonna be selling things to people, if you're gonna be being sued by lawyers right now, which you are and I covered because of your poor business practices and lying to people, then I don't know how to help you. Professionalism and respect are key. And we kindly ask that you respect our brand and our team by not using our images in ways that could be hurtful to promote your videos. It's absolutely okay to have criticism, but using disparaging images, this is not disparaging by the way, these are your images you post publicly for people to utilize. If people on YouTube want to make videos on me and cut me out and put me on their thumbnails, which they've done plenty of times and say how awful of a YouTuber I am and how horrible I am, do I go write a community post crying to people about it? No! I know that they're wrong and don't worry about it. I move on because I'm trying to do the right thing. Something you guys are clearly avoiding. Let's not forget that DK Oldies is putting a veiled threat here against YouTubers for using their logo that they stole from Nintendo and Donkey Kong. That's some impressive logic. Just go to work to make a living to promote your videos goes against creating a positive and respectful online community. Let's keep it respectful and awesome together. You know, if I didn't know any better, DK Oldies, this almost seems like a veiled legal threat against YouTubers. It kind of sounds like you're laying the groundwork to say, hey, if you use any of our images, our logos without our consent, there's gonna be some problems because we are worried about our brand being tarnished because we don't know how to handle customer service relations. I don't know how anyone could reach a different conclusion other than that. And check out some of these comments. It's also very respectful to treat your customers with honesty instead of promising and promoting fixed and clean products. I think the reason why so many large channels went for you guys is because your prices are quite high and you have a promise. Obviously, you have a good brand and I wouldn't ever want to offend anyone, but the proof is in the pudding with someone at DK Oldies was not doing their job and sending out products that were quite obviously in very bad condition. Which there's a class action lawsuit right now going on trying to gather information because you guys potentially lied about the products that you were selling. Most of the time, that means the smoke is coming from a fire and there's a problem. I'm glad it's not as aggressive anymore with all the videos on YouTube and hopefully the mistakes have been fixed so that you guys can continue with your business and fans and people with negative behaviors can stop. See, this whole thing is like, the YouTubers covering DK Oldies are now the bad guys. The people that are bringing the information to the viewers about the awful things that this company did. We're now the bad guys for reporting on that. That's exactly what DK Oldies is trying to do. They're trying to change the narrative twist it around a little bit and say, oh, no, 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 we're actually the good guys. It's all those evil YouTubers talking about us. And I don't want to say every YouTuber is just perfect and not making any mistakes and covering DK Oldies perfectly. I'm sure there's a lot of YouTubers out there that are jumping on the view train and just making stuff up or trying to find a reason to talk about them because it brings them views. I get that, but that comes with the territory of YouTube. And if you're gonna be a publicly facing company selling these products, you gotta be able to handle the heat in the kitchen. And you can't. This one is probably my favorite one. Address the actual problem. 
there's a reason people are criticizing your platform because they feel there's a problem with your platform. While there are always going to be people just talking bleep and making drama on YouTube, it started with your customers being upset about prices and quality control. Yeah, like it's all based in reality and truth and addressing those issues and fixing them is probably the best way to go. Trying to blame the community is not a great idea, especially when it comes to the internet. Well, maybe if your employees didn't do such a horrible job at doing their job, maybe you wouldn't get bullied on the internet. Get your crap together as a company, and then maybe the community will have an ounce of sympathy for you and your team. I agree. I would love for DK Oldies to turn into a success story. I genuinely would. But that would start with lowering prices, more community outreach, better truthfulness about their products, maybe showing images, giving discounts for damaged or beyond repair, like just letting people know what they're buying and what they're gonna get instead of just blanket like all these games are in perfect shape and there's no issues with any of them. When they're all clearly 30 plus years old, when we're talking about NES games and beyond, there's gonna be some problems with them. Stop trying to act like everything's perfect with you guys when it's not. And here we go with Sinister Stole. This seems like a thinly veiled ploy to strike people's videos down. If that is in fact the case, you should look into other people who have went down this avenue and see the absolute beating they took from a much larger part of the YouTube community over it. This is just the tip of the iceberg. If DK Oldies starts trying to take videos down and strike channels for reporting on them, then that kind of exposes what the real issue is here with them and it's not gonna be a pretty ending. But these comments go on and on and on for a while and most of the people are saying something very similar and it seems very out of touch with reality for DK Oldies to even say this statement. Clearly they're dealing with a lot of frustration, a lot of hate, a lot of emails from customers demanding things that are probably pushing their bounds of what's within their control and they're reaching a breaking point. This ain't the way to handle it though. This is the opposite direction they want to be going and it's only going to get worse from here on out unless they pull a full mea culpa, admit their wrongdoings and try to start over again. Problem being, if they start admitting their wrongdoings, it opens them up for more legal action. So they're in between a rock and a hard place. And I, I don't know, th this was not a good idea though, but I don't know what they're gonna try to start doing after this. I guess we'll see Joey and everyone over at DK Oldies learn to deal with social media and don't be so fragile about it. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, Jay, smash, smash, Jay. Smash to change, smash to change, smash to change, smash to change.